Hello aspirants, so welcome to Ignite IS. Today we are going to discuss about a current affairs which has happened recently. That is a RBI to withdraw 2000 rupees note from the circulation. So the RBI has taken this step on May 19, 2023 that 2000 rupees bank note has to be withdrawn from the circulation. The existing notes, so which are in the circulation, which is considered to be continued as a legal tender. So we will discuss what, what is about the legal tender in the next slide. So RBI has provided a particular time frame that is almost they have given September 30 as a, a deadline in which uh, every people has to deposit or exchange uh, 2000 rupees notes in the banks. And uh, this process of exchanging by, of uh, old notes with that of uh, new notes or any changes in the legal tender which is uh, done by the RBI, it is considered to be part of uh, RBI's clean note policy which aims to provide the public with high quality currency notes and uh, current coins with improved security features. So this is the brief idea about uh, the current initiative of the RBI. So currently what is called as a legal tender? So it is a form of currency that is recognized by the law as an acceptance means for settling debt or obligations. So you all know that the RBI is uh, considered to be the nodal agency for issuing all the currencies and at the same time where does the RBI got its power means uh, the RBI Act 1935 which is passed uh, during the British time even it is continued after Indian independence uh, has given certain power to RBI and accordingly the RBI is issuing uh, all the currency notes uh, mo more than 1 rupee or uh, the notes which are issued uh, in the India is uh, issued by RBI and at the same time uh, there is another act which is passed by the government which is called as Coins Act 2011. This Coins Act 2011 section 6 has given power to the government to issue coins up to uh, 1000 rupees and as well as 1 rupee note. Uh, the process of issuing of the notes or the coins is being mentioned in Coin Act 2011 and at the same time RBI Act 1934. So this is the basic information related to the legal tender. Next. So what is RBI clean note policy? So it focuses on the providing public with the currency notes and coins that have security features so while withdrawing soiled or old notes from the circulation. So that means uh, whenever the old notes are being uh, spoiled or uh, destroyed or uh, when it was dropped in the water or in the soil, so those notes can be replaced uh, by the RBI through a policy which is called as a clean note policy. And at the same time, RBI has withdrawn all bank notes uh, before 2005 due to fewer security features. So uh, it is the duty of the RBI to give more security features whenever it is issuing uh, new currency notes. So that should not be compromised at any case. So that's why RBI is following uh, a policy which is called as clean note policy. Next. So why did the RBI issue 2000 rupees notes uh, on to 2016? So the 2016 is the year which is considered to be called as uh, the year of demonetization. So here if you consider a demonetization Okay, so the government has taken a decision of banning 500 rupees notes and 1000 rupees notes and uh, these 500 rupees notes constitute 86 percent of the currency circulation and uh, if government is withdrawing this 80 per 86 percent of currency circulation from the economy the most sectors like agriculture or various other sector will be impacted because they do transactions in the currency. Uh, or uh, they do transactions in the form of notes. So that's why uh, most of the sectors have been affected and uh, at the same time total economy has been affected. So to fill the 86 percent of note circulation the government has issued a 2000 rupees note uh, and accordingly it tried to revive the economy. So this is the initiative of the government uh, during the time of demonetization. So then uh, why uh, the government has taken the current decision 
of banning 2000 rupees notes so what is the uh, impact uh, on the indian economy so why government has taken the current decision of banning 2000 rupees uh, uh, notes is uh, first one you can consider some of the reasons like uh, black money and corruption is increasing so the black money is increasing because most of the people do transactions in the form of uh, notes and uh, they they are not coming into the account and at the same time most of the people do corruption in the certain sectors like real estate so that's why the to reduce the corruption and black money the government has taken a decision or that is rbi is implementing the decision to ban the 2000 rupees notes and accordingly to address the problem of uh, counterfeit currency so some of the people are printing the currency illegally so which is coming in from the foreign countries and within the country that is considered to be called as counterfeit currency so that has to be addressed by the government so because of current counterfeit currency the terrorism is been increasing so on uh, terror funding has been uh, done with this counterfeit currency so that to address that problem the government has banned 2000 rupees notes and at the same time whether this uh, ban will impact on the economy no so because very marginal amount of 2000 rupees notes are into the circulation so marginal amount means how much means you can consider here 10.8 percent of the total currency circulation constituted by 2000 rupees notes which is very less compared to that of uh, demonetization which has happened in 2016 so that's why the economic impact of uh, ban because ban of 2000 rupees notes is very less so that's why if you see the current decision will try to address the problem of uh, corruption black money counterfeit currency so which is necessary for the government to take this decision okay and uh, at the same time so what is the next step need to be followed so most of the people uh, has to exchange and deposit this 2000 rupees notes uh, so what is the process is need to be followed so if you see the people who are not having accounts that is non account holders can go to the bank and deposit the 2000 rupees bank notes uh, which is having a certain exchange limit so that means uh, beyond 20000 uh, at a time you cannot uh, exchange the 2000 rupees notes so that is a uh, limit set by the RBI for non account holders non bank account holders if you have the bank account you can uh, submit your know your customer norms and uh, follow the regulations which is set by the RBI and the bank and uh, there is no limit for those type of people who are exchanging 2000 rupees notes so this is the next step need to be followed uh, until the September 30 so that is the last date the for exchange of 2000 rupees notes so hopefully this information which is given by me is very useful for the examination point of view and uh, with respect to examination point of view uh, the upsc may ask about uh, a different set of questions what is uh, 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 the policy of rbi and how it is impacting on uh, the economy and uh, uh, clean currency policy of the rbi so these are all some of the uh, questions which are asked in the UPSC. So do note of the information which is given by me and uh, uh, all the best. Thank you.